Dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, today on this 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time, year B, we reflect upon the Gospel passage from St. Mark's Gospel, chapter 7, verses 31 to 37. The Gospel passage today is about Jesus healing a man who was deaf and who also had a speech impediment in the Gentile area of Decapolis. But it is much more than a healing miracle, for it has references, connotations, and imageries to the whole salvation history. The salvation history can be summarized thus. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and everything was good. But that goodness was lost due to sin. And God sent his only son, Jesus, to restore that goodness to its original condition, and he achieved it through his ministry, death, and resurrection. Today we have one of the clearest episodes pointing to the salvific nature of the ministry of Jesus as he heals a deaf mute and thus restores him to his original nature. What happened was just a miracle for the people around in that pagan territory. But for a Jew, for Saint Mark, it was a clear example of the fulfillment of the Old Testament prophecies about the Lord coming to restore the eyes of the blind and the hearing of the deaf, etc., as given in the first reading today, and thus an example of how God restores everything. The catch word of today's gospel is the Aramaic word epphata, or be opened. One naturally wonders why St. Mark uses here the original Aramaic word and not just its translation. Interestingly, St. Mark uses three sayings of Jesus in its original Aramaic, the language Jews used and spoken throughout Galilee, Samaria, and Judea during the time of Jesus. Ephatha, Talitha Kumi, Eloi, Eloi, Lama Sabachthani. The only reason we can think of is that St. Mark or the Markan community found that what happened in those moments or what was revealed through those words was so inexplicable, indescribable, that they could not express it in any other language than their mother tongue. Yes, it is true that in certain moments, certain feelings we can express much better in the native language, even if we are fluent in another language like English. Or possibly, it could be also that St. Mark thought St. Mark thought it very relevant to keep those original Aramaic words so that the readers or the listeners of the gospel must be touched by it as if they are hearing Jesus speaking directly to them in his own language and not as a description of something that happened in the past. Let's try to understand the importance of this passage and the significance of that Aramaic word epphatha with an insight from Pope Benedict XVI, one of the greatest theologians of all times. He says, there are two significances this Aramaic word has. Firstly, it is about an action done by God through Jesus Christ. And secondly, it is about something the Lord wants us to do. What does he mean by this? The Gospel passage says, Jesus took the man aside and looking up to heaven, sighed and said to the man, Ephatha, be opened. Note that while Jesus was addressing the word Ephatha immediately to the deaf man, his attention was not on the man as such, but his eyes were set on heaven. This means Jesus was not only opening up the man, but he was petitioning the father to open up heavens for the sinful humanity. And this happens through the death and resurrection of Jesus. Thus, this little word, Ephatha, sums up Christ's entire mission of restoring us, of saving us. He became man so that man may be recreated into the original goodness. And the Father opening up the gates of heaven once again for us. And at the end of the gospel passage, we hear the crowd acclaiming, 
he has done all things well about this expression of the people william barclay the famous bible commentator says this was the verdict of god about creation at the beginning in the book of genesis that everything was good and therefore when jesus healed somebody physically and when the people claim that he has done everything well it points to the fact that jesus has done again begun the work of creation of all things again a new creation therefore the word ephatha should make one's heart arise rise to god in gratitude for what he has done and is willing to do for us every day that he constantly intercedes with the father father open up the heavens in virtue of my sacrifice on the cross secondly the word ephatha refers to or indicates an action we are expected to do look at the gospel again looking up to heaven jesus sighed and said to the man ephatha what's that word ephatha a command to the ears of the man to be opened no the command was to him the man because it was not the ears of the man that needed opening the person himself should be open up to jesus up to god so the pope says there is an inner closing which covers the deepest core of the person what the bible calls the heart that is what jesus came to open this dear sisters and brothers is important to keep in mind today's miracle is not just about a physical healing of a person but about the command of jesus to all of us to open ourselves to god and naturally to others ephatha be open to the voice of god be open to the world and its conditions be open to the cry of the poor and the needy be open to the voice of others even of those who disagree with us however this opening up to god and his voice requires a certain condition i would say certain distancing from the voices of the world look at the gospel again when the people brought the man to him jesus did not simply tell him ephatha be opened before that jesus took the man aside away from the crowd privately says in mark as if it was a crowd that was making him deaf or it was a crowd that was keeping him deaf possibly both indeed too much noises will make anybody deaf and we are in such a world the voice of tv of radio of internet of music of whatsapp or social media of our job our burdens our failures our families you name it too many of them and no wonder we have become deaf what happened to the man after the miracle when jesus said a father be opened saint mark says his ears were opened his tongue was released and he spoke plainly we know people who are deaf cannot articulate their speech properly because we learn to speak by hearing what others say that's why mark says this man was deaf and had an impediment in his speech not that he was mute unable to speak there was a problem in articulating so when the man was able to hear he began to speak clearly as when our ears are open when we hear the voice of god within us we will begin to speak we will bear witness to god jesus actually told the people not to tell anyone about the miracle and what did they do mark says they began proclaiming it all the more zealously one who has heard the word of god one who has experienced the power of god and touched by him cannot remain silent so dear sisters and brothers do you hear the lord telling us a father be open let's open up our hearts to his voice in the bible in the silence of private prayer in the community of believers he invites us daily privately when we set aside a particular time for him to converse with him to listen to him in the reading of the scripture the lord will surely come and speak to us 
in our decapolis and then we will begin to speak what he wants us to speak and even become evangelizers for the one who he is cannot be silent anymore may the lord bless all of us